my TV. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to It's Just a Game. I'm Chum Nation, and today I'm bringing you a Maxis Buried Easter Egg tutorial along with the Maxis Endgame. I know there's lots of tutorials already out there, but I believe mine is a bit more complete. I provide all of the dialogue and voice cues that you'll hear from Maxis during the Easter Egg. These voice cues are very important because they give you clues as to whether or not what you're doing is correct, and more importantly, they give clues, although sometimes cryptic, as to what you're supposed to do next. All right, we'll start off with the intro from Maxis, and he's telling you the first part of what you'll be doing. Enjoy. Oh! Alright, so at the beginning of any zombies game or map, you need to find the power and turn the power on. So you open this door, go through the candy shop, there's the claymores on the wall, candy store, go up the stairs, and uh, yeah, eventually I go up the stairs. Here we go. You go out the window to your left. You'll see that familiar lightning bolt symbol on the wall. And in this room, watch out for the hole. And there is the power switch. The next thing we want to do is we want to get our big, uh, big guy friend out of jail. Call him Leroy. Call him whatever you want. I prefer Mongo as a Blazing Saddles reference. Hop into the jail from up top. Grab the key. I know it's not showing up there, uh, but there's a key on that hook. Unlock the gate here, and the big guy will start cowering. You're gonna grab the booze, which is not also showing up there, but it will later. Give him the booze, and he'll crash through the barrier. Now, breaking these barriers is important, and you'll see that you need to open up the rest of the map with the uh, alcohol. So you go grab. Uh, sometimes the booze spawns right back there in the jail, just like that. You're gonna grab those that booze. You're gonna take him to the next barrier, which is. Uh, uh, Juggernog here, we're gonna get him to open Jug. We'll give him the booze, make sure his back is to whatever you want him to break open. And then he'll run and smash it. Um, and then we'll grab some more booze here shortly. And uh, this is the barrier in between the candy shop and the general store, uh, which opens up the other part of the map. Alright. Next, we're gonna move into the candy store, grab the candy, so we can use Mongo to lock the box in place. This is gonna be important, because you need to hit the box a lot in the beginning, because you must get the time bombs. So, give him the candy in front of the box, and you'll be able to hit it as much as you want without it moving. All right, the next thing you need to do is build the gallows. It's the main part of the Maxis Easter egg, and the first piece is in the church. Right there at the base of the pulpit there is a battery gonna pick up that battery. Next you take the battery outside the church next to the courthouse to the gallows, install the battery and you'll hear this quote. This is a lot of work. It better be worth it. Excellent. Continue at peace. Next we're gonna head back over towards the jail, go upstairs, jump across, and then turn left here into this little room. Another piece of the gallows here is this light bulb looking thing. Looks like a transistor of some kind. You install that on the gallows and it lights up later on. We'll pick that piece up. And uh, we're going to move across to the stable and pick up the other piece, which is a big aerial antenna. I'll see you jump down into the stable and go down to the last stall on the right. And it's sitting right there. It's kind of hard to see in this video, but it's next to that lantern, that stick figure looking thing right there. You can hold that part up, and uh, that's the antenna for the gallows. Okay, you'll install a piece and you get this quote. This is nearly done. Two more components are required. 
sure that they are not used for further recruitment to Nefarian foes. Quiet, please. Rustman and Stuhlinger are far better suited for manual labor. Pity they lack the intellect to make anything useful. The structure is almost complete. You are brave warriors, my friends. Perhaps braver than those who walked this road before you. All right, the next thing is the wire spool down through the bank into the gunsmith, and it's in the corner. The important thing about the wire spool and the light bulb thing are that they can also be installed on the uh, guillotine for Richthof inside. So the spool is in the corner right there in front of my character's view there. Um, but you need to make sure when you're doing this you don't accidentally install the light bulb or the wire spool on the Richthof. The next step of the Easter egg involves destroying the four glowing red orbs that are scattered around the map. Some tutorials have shown that you have to power these up with the paralyzer first, but that is not true. All you need is the subsurface resonator and a turbine, and you can destroy them. So here's the first one outside of the saloon. Oh, he's going! He's following me, what the hell, get away from me. Alright, I'm, hey, I'm outside the saloon, SR. Oh, there, my you ready? Mind. Yep, go for it. Just pick it up as soon as it destroys it. Ah, I suppose I should take this with me. The next orb is in the mine shaft down the hallway here and to the right. There it is right here. This thing's just too damn heavy. The third orb is next to the church. Uh, there's a little cemetery there, some gravestones around the back corner of these rocks. And the final orb is through the mansion outside to the back of the house. Damn heavy. Oh, we got a perk. Quick revive. Uh oh. Oh. Be quiet. Okay, you heard Maxis talk about the Wayward Spirit of the Lantern. You'll see the Lantern next. The brute force required is a grenade, as what we used, but there could be other ways to bring it down. But cooking a grenade and timing it as it floats around is quite difficult, but with some practice you'll get it. Let me get away with this zombie then. Dang it. There it is! Okay, so he told us we need to fill up the lantern and we may need help from a creature bound to this realm. Well, that means you gotta get Mongo to kill some zombies. Hmm, I'm not entirely sure. Ooh. Such folly plays little role in my decision making. You'll notice every time Mongo kills a zombie, you hear that dinging of a church bell or some kind of bell 
and they'll be escalating levels of that ringing until the end uh, of this part when Maxis will give you another quote. You do have to be quick or kill a lot of zombies quickly with this, but if you run out of uh, Mongo's anger, you can always buy more candy and then he'll finish. The next part is to place the lantern on top of the gunsmith so you can jump across from above the saloon. So run up to the saloon, jump across here, run out the door, and then you'll see the glowing purple lantern there on the roof across. Once you're over there, you'll get a cue to place the lantern, and then the code will appear. Two of them for the two or three for the stable. I got three. Okay, this is the code, ladies and gentlemen. It looks complicated. I assure you it is not once you understand. This is a picture of the key, and I'll explain how it works. Each quadrant of the tic tac toe board has three lines in it. Each of those lines are in a specific position, and each of those positions corresponds to a letter. There are only five tunnels with names, so you only need to do the first letter. You only need to decode the first letter of each tunnel, and then you'll know which tunnel in which order you have to hit. In this case, the letters were D, C, and G, and you'll see the corresponding tunnels next. The next part requires a bit of setup with respect to where some zombies are placed throughout the map. You want to have people training zombies in a few key spots when you run through with the wisp. The wisp has to be energized by the zombies, so you want people out in front of the jail with a few zombies, someone in the stable with a few zombies, and someone in front of the saloon with a few zombies. Now, my uh, letters were D, C, and G, so Dry Gulcher was the first part. The next one I'm looking for, I can't remember the name, but we'll come up to it in just a second. Make sure you open up all these barriers um, so you don't have to do it at this point, but there it is, Consumption Cross, that's the C. And then the G is the last one, which is through on the other side. We'll come up to it in just a second. And then before you hit this last one, a ground biter is the last one. You'll want your teammate with the time bomb to throw a time bomb down before you hit the last one. Alright, SR, I'm about to come out by you. Alright. Where's it going? All of them. To just kill They're them. They're all running. Just kill them. Alright, RA, come on. Get going up there. Up, up the tunnel? Yes. Yeah, I think I, I've messed that up because I didn't tell you in time. This might be uh, close. I can't, you keep bumping into me, dude. Spark, I hope yours are close. Yeah, they're like right dead in front of the saloon. Alright, kill them. And the wisp will enter and you'll get this quote.
Roll us back. So Maxis says we need more time. Use the time bomb, and then you'll have to hit all three signs again before you start. You'll be fine. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Yep. Here we go. Here I come, SR. To you. Right. No, no. Not gonna back down. Wait. Remember you training. I did train you, didn't I? Alright, alright, you should be moving. Awesome. This will work good. Alright, Spark. Coming to you. <coughs> I'm ready. Alright, try to save one. Try to save one. Alright, I got one. Alright, quiet. The wisp will enter the second time and you'll get this quote. The next part involves rerouting the power to the surface using a light box that's inside the mansion, just past the tunnel beyond the bookshelf. It takes some trial and error to figure out which bells go with which light, but you'll see in the video, I'll split the screen into four areas. The bells are always the same position. The three areas for the bells are the courthouse, down by the judge's stand, the stables on the second floor, uh, one on the hay bale, one on the bo uh, box by the hole in the wall, and then one right across from that next to the railing. And then the third place is the candy store. So you'll see each of those locations in the split screen, and then I will call out each position uh, by the person's name. And as the lights turn white, I will call their name. They'll ring the bell. The light will turn green. Once you complete them all, Maxis will give you a quote. All right, I'm going into the witch's house, and we're gonna go. Um, Time out. RA. Lights on. No, the lights aren't on. Every five rounds, the lights come on. Now who's pushing bells first? Uh, I'm. I'm gonna have Ra go first, then you spark, and then. Um, uh, our SR because we're just establishing the order. Yeah, okay. okay. And then I'm gonna tell you guys which one to push, okay? Alright, quote. You ready? Yep. Okay, here we go. SR number one. Spark, number one. R.A., number three. Itch. I think it's the first one. R.A., number two. R.A., number one. Hey, I'm done. Spark, number three. S.R., number three. Spark number two. SR number two. Let's proceed to the fountain in order to set the final chain of events in motion. And now we're on to arguably the hardest step on the Easter egg, but it is the final step, the sharpshooter shooting gallery. There's four areas to the sharpshooter. The candy store out in front of the candy store with 20 targets, out in front of the jail with 22 targets, the saloon with 19 targets, and the mansion with 23 targets. Now I'll put this up in quad split screen once again. Candy store is upper left, jail is upper right, saloon lower right, mansion lower left. And you'll see once we're done, I'll show you the end game.
Okay. <clears throat> ready? Everybody ready? Yep. Uh -huh. Yep. Got it. Got Hell the yeah. Achievement unlocked. Hell yeah. Okay, hold on. We're gonna go unlock the box. Everybody, everybody. Hey, if we're gonna do. All right. Well, that looked easy. It only took us a few hours to practice that and get it right, but uh, we did eventually get it. Um, the one thing to note about the sharpshooter round is you can push the button on the fountain to start the targets as many times as you need to until you hit all your targets. So count your targets in each area. And uh, you'll get there. Just keep practicing. All right. Next will be the end game portion. Uh, we did max aside for the end game. There's a box in the back of the courthouse that you'll see when we go in. When you go in there, uh, it will automatically open if you have all the criteria met. The criteria, as far as I understand it, is that all players must have the same side Easter egg done on all the maps. So transit, die rise, and buried have to be done on the same side. And I believe, although I haven't tested this, all the nav cards must be installed at least by one player. And then all the box will be lit up all the same color, either orange for Maxis or blue for Richthofen. When you walk in there, it will open, and you'll get the cue to push X to push the button. And here's what happens. All right, everybody be quiet. Is uh, Spark been here? All right, SR. Yep. All right, we ready? Mhm. Mm Hold X to use the button. All right, quiet. The process has begun. Now I control the ether's energy. I can at last reach Agatha. I must inform you that neither the Earth nor its people will survive. Ah, I tried so hard to warn you. Of course! Once the gateway is open, I will finally be reunited with my dearest Samantha. Hello? Are you forgetting something? Even if your wretched daughter is still alive, she has my body! If you are so eager to re-enter the physical world, Richtofen, I will grant you that fish! Alright everybody, well that's it. I hope this tutorial for Max's side of the buried easter egg as well as the Max's endgame has been useful to you. I think it's the most comprehensive one out there with the quotes and uh, helpful hints. But please leave comments, questions in the uh, comment section below, and I will try to get back to you. Remember, it's just a game.